It's time for Big Board Sports with Eric Sullivan. Uh, no oversleeping for the SFA basketball fans. They s probably skipped a few classes, but we're going on a tell them right there. But what a great crowd on hand to be a part of the ESPN 24-hour marathon of college basketball. We Last year, SFA, the basketball team, had their best season ever going 32-3, and winning a first-round NCAA tournament game for the first time in school history. Also, their record at home, 34 straight wins at William Co Johnson Coliseum. This morning at 8 a.m., the Jacks took on non-conference Northern Iowa. Pretty good ball club right there for ESPN's 24-hour hoops marathon. First half, to Demetrius Floyd with the jumper. He's a new guy on the team. On the break again, Floyd finds Connor Brooks up and under for the reverse. Jacks up four at the half. Thomas Walkup, how great was he last year showing he can go one-on-one -on -one right here. We've got a ball game. SFA up one with 145 to go. Then a big three right here by Demo Demetrius Floyd once again. But check out what Deion Mitchell does of Northern Iowa down three with just seconds to play. Ties the game up with the old-fashioned three-point play. We are going to overtime in OT. Walk up once again. Big time fadeaway jumper, but with seconds to go, down by two. Uh, Floyd has the ball. Got to get two to tie. Three to win. Goes up and oh, does not get the break right there. Man, Jack's falling overtime. 79-77. What a great crowd. What a great start to what could be another magical season. As we mentioned, Jeff Schaefer was there this morning and has more from Nacogdoches. Despite this morning's early 8 a.m. tip-off, a near sellout crowd packed William R. Johnson Coliseum for Stephen F. Austin's nationally televised tilt against Northern Iowa. But despite the best efforts of the fans and the Lumberjacks, SFA saw its incredible 34-game home win streak come to an end against the Panthers. Now it's simply back to work for head coach Brad Underwood and his team. I look at it this way. You know, all, all records get broke, all streaks get snapped. Just go start another one. And I knew what we were getting into with uh, when we tangled with these guys. So. So uh, it's great for our program. It's the way we can build our program. We have to go play people. But by us playing against them, it let us know what we got to work on the most when we play against big teams like that. We have a culture here of, of tremendous work, and these guys, these guys do it. Today, they made one more basket than we did and scored a couple more points, but who says we can't go do that the next time we, uh, we go out? We'll learn to make those winning plays that, that Northern Iowa made today and get better as we go. SFA returns to action this Friday with a more standard tip time, but things don't get any easier for the Lumberjacks. They'll hit the road for the first time this season to pay a visit to Xavier. From William R. Johnson Coliseum, Jeff Schaefer, CBS 19 Sports. All right, thank you, Jeff. And, uh, hey, quick shout-out to the fans down there. 8 a.m. Yeah, to watch a little basketball. Yeah. TV games with Baylor and Memphis also coming up. When you win, you get on TV. Mm -hmm. It's fun, isn't it? That's the thing. Right. Thanks, Eric. Okay, the